Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching my video today. I'm sharing a haul for you. I went to Tuesday morning just a few hours ago and I posted a poll on Instagram to see if you guys wanted to see a haul and 100% voted for yes, so I'm going to show you what I got. Um, usually there's not, this is just a disclaimer, usually there's not this many good things at Tuesday morning and um you know my tuesday morning isn't like the best like sometimes i go there and i just i go home with nothing pretty much so um you know just kind of keep checking different ones and hopefully yours will have some stuff too but i'm not blessed with one of those tuesday mornings that like just has everything every time you go so this was really lucky for me to find it and actually whenever i was there i was um i met somebody in the crafting aisle who was telling me that she was making a loaded envelope so i thought that was really cool <clears throat> I've never met anybody like in my area that really crafts or does happy mail and we were kind of looking for stuff together and she would find something and show it to me and then I would find something and show it to her so I was super cool and a really awesome experience because it's never happened and probably won't again so um yeah so I guess I'll start by showing you what I got so I got a few of these pebbles um die cuts they don't have names for the collections I think this one says always something but this one's super cute, and this is everything that comes in it. Looks like there's some gold foiling as well, which is nice. This one is Love Me, I think. And this one's super cute. It has little alpacas and sloths, and I thought that was adorable. Yeah, so this one is... This one doesn't have a name on it, but this one does. It says Loves Me. Okay. So I got those two. Um, I also got these cute little um, pre-made rosettes that have some die cuts on them. I thought this would be super cute to gift or to put on a cover of a flip book. So I got those as well. Um, one of the things that I was most excited to find were these heart day embellishments. So they come with different brads, some um, gold glitter hearts, and then these really cute embellishments at the bottom. These are so pretty and I love the colors. So I got, luckily they had two of them, so I bought both of these, and these are by far, like, so happy to find these. Um, they also had the Main Squeeze um, Ephemera, which is so cool because I can't even find this on scrapbook.com anymore, so I was so excited that they had this because I used it up all last year. Like, I used up every single piece in this, so I'm really happy about that. Um, they also had the Merry Days um, collection ephemera too, which is nice because this will probably not come back next year. It'll probably be hard to get your hands on, so I did pick up just one more extra of that. <clears throat> and that's probably one of, probably the favorite, my favorite Christmas collection that has come out. So I'm happy to have enough of it to use it for next year as well. Um, they had these two thicker sets which is really cool I wasn't able to get these last year and they're super pretty so they had about four or five of these so I got two and I might gift one I'm not sure yet I got these super cool thickers as well these are like pink but they have um, black shadows on them and then they also have this like really cool texture on them so I thought these were different and um, for Valentine's Day this year, I'm just trying to use up a lot of what's in my stash. Um, I know I've got a lot of stuff here, but I'm also trying to use up what's in my stash too. So I thought that would match some of the stuff that I pulled I out. also found these plain pink ones, which are cute and will match several different collections that I have in my stash. I found these um, word phrase stickers as well. These are gold foil and they're puffy. They're not like um, cardstock. They're kind of like foam, I guess. And lots of different phrases on here. So that's super cute. I also, um, whenever I was looking through my collection, I don't have any stickers. So I did want to pick up some stuff that I thought would match. So I found this one, and this is by Pebbles. It is the Forever Gold collection, I think. But yeah, this is super cute. It's kind of plain, so I felt like it would match a lot of stuff as well. So I got those. This is the word phrases from the Wild Heart collection super cool and this isn't like a regular gold it's almost like a rose gold kind of it's really pretty and this is what the back looks like so those are cute I also got um so I was kind of debating on whether or not to get these but I do have the Chamel box of crayons collections I have like lots of papers all of the two packs of ephemera 
all kinds of stuff and I've pretty much used it all up but I have a few more pieces that I need to use so I thought like if I got this it would help me to use up what's left in the collection because I never got the stickers so I got these and then I figured what I don't use with the collection like this stuff will work on its own too or I can put it in my planner so I did go ahead and pick it up and I thought it's super cute I love that collection it's adorable and then I got these stickers as well and these are from the Merry Days collection but obviously you can use them with anything not just Christmas stuff and I like how not every letter is the same so like see how the S's are different I thought that's cute um, so that's all the thickers that I got and I got a lot um, but I've been kind of de-stashing on like some of my stickers and I have like a box that holds everything and I got rid of a lot recently so I thought it'd be okay to kind of like invest in some newer ones so I'll show you something else that I was super excited about I found both of these paper pads at Tuesday morning this is the Lala Love collection by Crate Paper which you guys know is very new it's their most recent Valentine's Day collection so whenever I saw this I like freaked out because I ordered the collection from scrapbook.com and they didn't even have the paper pads like they were sold out. So I bought lots of stuff and then I only bought like four sheets of the individual paper. So when I saw this I was like so happy because I've been wanting this. And I'll do a flip through so you guys can see the papers. I love that this collection has blues in it too. I think that's super cute and it's kind of different than most of the other stuff that I've been seeing. So there's gold foiling, some blues um, tied in together with the pinks and reds. And yeah, so that's what the paper pad looks like. And I did go ahead and pick up two because like I said, I have no Valentine's Day papers. So what I've basically done is just pulled out stuff from my stash and other papers and then I bought a few individual ones so I went ahead and got two of these because this is probably primarily what I'll be using so as you can see right here they had the wild heart chipboard and this is so cute it's so adorable and I have stuff that I think will match it so I didn't try to find like everything from the collection because they did have a few stuff I think they had the ephemera there as well but I didn't feel the need to pick it up because um well first of all I got way too much other stuff but um yeah, I thought that this would work with stuff I already have. So I went ahead and got this. Super cute. And then I was also lucky enough to find this chipboard set from the Merry Days collection. And I did pick up two because um, I always fly through chipboard the fastest. And because I have everything else that matches this collection, I know that I'll use it. And if I don't, then um, I will gift it. And I, by the way, I just posted on Instagram a super fun way to package up chipboard. Um, if you haven't seen that, you can check out my Instagram. Um, so I don't know, I might do something that like that again um, this coming year for Christmas. Thinking very far ahead. <laughs> and then this is the Merry Days gift wrap book, which I almost bought on scrapbook.com, but I'm so glad that I didn't because it was like literally double the price. So yeah, so this looks like super cute. And then you could also use this as papers too. Some other stuff I got are, um, they had these La La Love little heart shakers, which are so cute. They've been coming out with a lot of these for their collections, um, Crate Paper has, so love these, they're so cute. They also have these Snow and Cocoa little paper clips, which I have yet to see. I didn't even know these were a thing. So I saw these, I thought these were so cute. Had to pick those up as well. Um, the Merry Days buttons. Buttons are always really fun for me to use. I love using them on different projects to give it dimension. So went ahead and got those as well. I got these really cute flowers. I thought for $2 this was a great price because usually Hobby Lobby is like triple that. So got these and they have little pearls in the middle. And then I also found, this is really cool. So I found the here and there um, like standout stickers. And this collection has been gone for quite some time, so I was surprised to find it. And I have a few other things, like I think I had the chipboard for this uh, collection as well. So I thought that'd be fun to use together. So I also went to a different Tuesday morning that was a little ways down the road, about 20 minutes from the first one. And I was hoping to find more Valentine's Day stuff. Um, they didn't have much. They did have these really cute hearts, which are kind of like enamel dots. They're really pretty, and I love the colors, and they match the La La Love collection. 
So I picked up two of these, um, one for me and one to gift. And then I also found pieces from the Auburn Lane collection. I didn't find much, but um, I found the die cuts, and this is what comes in them. Super cute. I love the frames. And this collection is adorable. And then I also found these little standouts, which are like really pretty flowers. And one of them fell off the little foam dot, but still gorgeous. So yeah, that's what I want. I didn't find much at the second Tuesday morning. But I can't complain because I found so many good things on my first trip. And yeah, I'm super lucky, like I said. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I hope that you will subscribe and um, turn on your notifications so that you know whenever I post another video. Thanks, guys. Bye.